So, the Acolyte finally got a trailer for it. Uh, by the way, this will get lost in the sauce, I'm sure. But I will say, I enjoyed the trailer, okay? Don't, you know, come after me, but that's what it is. I enjoyed the trailer. Still really concerned about the show. Might turn the show off after five minutes. Might throw the remote across the room. But I like the trailer. Okay, so trailer comes out, and uh, I personally just couldn't believe how contentious the discussion was around said trailer, right? It's it, it was crazy, man. Like just seeing how much people were mad. Um, and uh, you know, lucky, you know, we have the nerd vengers in the Discord, they're always uh, on top of this sort of stuff, somebody was sharing the ratio. And I remember sharing the ratio of likes to dislikes when it was like getting close, right? It was like 60 million dislikes, 70 or 80 million likes or something like that, right? And I was like, damn, that is not good. <laughs> that doesn't seem good. And it only got worse for there. It actually has overtaken the likes, okay? So it's, it's actually like getting hard ratioed. Well, in the middle of all of that going on, we found out, guys, guys, it's a record-breaking trailer. It, it, the, the act, the force, it, this is from Star Wars, the official account with the yellow check mark, man. The force is strong with the accolade as the trailer breaks Lucasfilm records. Oh, okay, interesting. Let's, what, what's this about? Uh, the accolade trailer breaks Lucasfilm records. Thanks to the Star Wars, wait, what? Thanks to Star Wars fans, the trailer launch for the accolade has been one to remember. Released yesterday, the trailer for Accolade garnered 51.3 million views in its first 24 hours. This is a new digital-only record for Lucasfilm Disney Plus series, surpassing every trailer for The Mandalorian, The Book of Boba Fett, and or uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Ahsoka. We're grateful for the support and can't wait for you to experience the series. Okay, um, that's wild. Now, here's, here's a question I have for the chat. Somebody help me out. If you go look at all the trailer views for these other shows, do they have more views, like, just on YouTube for these other shows? Like, I would imagine... They do. Maybe Andor doesn't. But uh, yeah, I mean, I just, I don't know. I don't, did the Acolyte break the records on like the YouTube trailers and stuff? I mean, I don't really know, okay? And this kind of reminds me a little bit of the Deadpool 3 record, right? Uh, as somebody said in chat, Disney trailers just seem to keep breaking all these records, right? And when it came to Deadpool 3, you know, even they had to admit in some of the articles that they did include like 125 million people that watched the Super Bowl, which they only watched the 32nd version of the trailer. It's literally not even the same trailer, but they just put it all together and then say, hey, record breaking trailer view. OK, so it's kind of wild. Right. And I think a lot of us are like, damn, that's that's kind of sus. But it could be true, right? I'm not I'm not denying that this very specific metric of what do they call it? This is a new digital only record. Like, what the fuck does that mean? Digital only record. So like, look, I'm not denying that by this digital only metric uh, that it is uh, probably a record holder, right? 51 million views. That is a lot of views. Like, that is a lot of views, okay? But if you look at the actual post here for Star Wars, uh, the, the number one, I mean, like, you look, just look at the comments here, okay? Uh, so for this, says RJ, uh, 6.5 uh, million views. So about uh, six and a half million views on, I assume this is YouTube, 135,000 likes, 162 might as well call it 163,000 dislike. My God, that is crazy. Um, before I, you know, give my take, let's just keep reading here. For most dislikes, weird flicks, but okay. Record for downvotes, breaking dislike records. It's hard boycotting Star Wars Disney, but this crap makes it easier. <laughs> it broke the dislike record. It has more dislikes than likes on YouTube. Record in what exactly? Most dislikes are so far. The first is lesbian and complicit. Now, someone tells Leslie Harvey so proud of her. Uh, you got memes. You got this. Like, this is just like if anybody. Oh, my God. 
Star Wars. Like, how did you let it get to this point? You know, it's fucking crazy. Like, this is like any person goes to the tweet here. I mean, look at this. It's waves and waves of shitting on them. It's fucking amazing. I, uh, how? How did they let it get to this point? This is fucking crazy. Okay, now let's talk about what's going on here, okay? This, this shit's crazy. Like, cat, like, Here's the thing. I'm going to get in trouble, okay? Remember on Monday? I think it was Monday. It might have been this Monday. Maybe it was last week when I was like, I wonder if I could, like, work at Disney. Yeah, that shit. Uh, no. I, that ship has sailed. There, there is no fucking way, especially after what I'm about to say right now. There is no fucking way I'm working at Disney. So just, psh, it's gone. It'll probably never fucking happen. I'm still open to it, but I don't think they're open to it. Okay. Holy shit. I have never seen anything like this with Star Wars. And I, what I can't quite understand is, uh, why, like, how has it gotten to this exact place and the show itself? Like, I think Lucasfilm has this crazy talent of like doing the worst possible things to set themselves up for situations like this like it's almost admirable if you think about it man to have done so much damage to a brand and to have taken it to such a place where you're getting ratioed and all the comments on your shit is like clowning on you like just really really think about that that's that's like it's it's like it's fucking impressive, honestly. Crazy that they have done that much damage to Star Wars and have set them up this badly for this experience. And I gotta say, at this point, the people at the top on Lucasfilm, they have to be on, like, so many antidepressants that they're just like zombies walking through space because i don't know how else you deal with this shit i have never seen anything like this in my life and that also kind of makes a lot of their decision making make more sense if you really think about it like this is an untenable unfucking believable what the fuck holy shit kind of a situation bob Iger should literally go learn martial arts just so he can go into that boardroom and fucking roundhouse kick every one of these motherfuckers in the face what the fuck has happened this is crazy now the other question i have about this is is this just like bots on bots like what is happening here because you know you see a bunch of people you talk about the dislikes right you talk about the ratio and then you uh there's this sort of narrative that's created out there that it's a bunch of bots right and by the way let's have fun with it chat if you think that the dislike ratio is from bots throw a one into the chat let's let's have some fun let's fight amongst ourselves we can't let star wars have all the fun uh, do you think the dislikes are coming from bots throw a one into the chat okay and then the other thing that's kind of silly ironic hilarious like again this is just such a uniquely stupid situation from a uniquely stupid company ran by a uniquely stupid president it's fucking crazy but the other question that i have is are the views bought it are the views bought it You've got the one side that's like, oh, man, all of the dislikes have to be botted. And then you've got this other side that's like, no, the views are botted, right? And the truth is they're probably both botted. So, like, Star Wars, <laughs> what that means, if, like, okay, do you think they're both botted? Is it, like, we're watching, like, a part of the Clone Wars, right? Like, we're literally watching, like, these droids fighting these droids, right? And we're just like, damn, like, these droids are going fucking ham. Like, this shit's crazy, right? That's what it feels like, okay? Now, consider what that means. That means that Star Wars has pissed people off to such a degree and, and, and made themselves a target for this sort of stuff to such a degree that you've got a billion-dollar corporation using bots to try to outpace a bunch of angry fans or maybe just like a few that have like a bot farm or something like and they're losing like they are literally losing like this is fascinating this is crazy fascinating like you literally have a battle over optics and and like dude i know some people out there are like because again i said at the beginning i actually like the trailer okay 
I know you forgot it because I'm being very toxic. I understand, but I do like the trailer. But here's the thing. I see a lot of people trying to defend the trailer and say, well, the dislikes don't represent actual critique of the trailer. I mean, the trailer's great. I like the trailer. So there's no way there is nothing within this trailer that warrants such disliking. Therefore, therefore, the dislikes don't matter. They're irrelevant because they can't possibly represent actual people disliking the trailer. It's impossible. But I would offer to you that to be a company that warrants such energy, such toxicity, such botting, people putting resources in to trying to make you look bad is possibly even fucking worse than making an actual piece of content that that many people organically dislike. It's worse. It's not better. It doesn't make anything better. This is what you've done. You've literally gotten to the point where motherfuckers out here try harding to hate on your ass. Oh my God, it's amazing. Do you wanna know how bad it is? Do you wanna know how bad it is? This is how bad it is. They got the motherfucking chosen one climbing up the Empire State Building like fucking Jared Leto. They literally have Darth Vader projected on the Empire State Building. That's how bad shit is. They're pulling shit out of their ass that I never would have thought of in a million fucking years. And it's cool. Like, that's the other thing is like, it kind of, it kind of works. It's kind of cool. Kind of maybe the first good thing they've done in a while. Holy shit. It's unbelievable. But we're not done. <clears throat> we're not done. Here's a question. <clears throat> Is it possible this actually works out for them? What if the show's titties? What if it's amazing? What if it's like some of the best shit we've ever seen? Because they've got, I think, more attention than they've gotten in a long time. A lot of negative attention as we've just covered. But I think you're gonna get a whole bunch of people showing up for the first two episodes of The Acolyte. Some of those people will be showing up like this. And a lot of people are gonna be showing up like this but they're showing up either way. And I can see a scenario in which it's actually good. And this weird kind of like, it's I'm like fucking Paul Atreides right now, right? Enemies all around, but I do see a way, a way. If the show is dope as fuck, doesn't like shit on, on the mythology and it's awesome and it's like really crazy. Wouldn't it be wild if the show was incredibly successful? And the bullshit that's happening right now plays into that. That would be absolutely wild. I don't know what the chances of that actually happening are because one of the other things that Lucasfilm can't seem to figure out is making good content. So where does that leave us? Well, I don't know, but I'm enjoying the ride. It's pretty fucking wild from my perspective. So, uh, Acolyte, breaking records. It's a record-breaking series already, and I can't wait till it comes out. I'm absolutely positive the discourse around it's going to be fantastic, man. Can't wait for Leslie Hedden to yap her gums and give us a lot more stuff to talk about on stream. So I'm excited. Let's get it. Acolyte, best show ever. Woo!